Hey there, this is Crystal and we're here naming ranges in Excel. So, first of all, I have to have my Excel database ready and prepared. So here's my Excel file. And here's just a few names that are within here. Now, how you're going to actually name the range, I'm going to look to this name box. It's probably one of the areas of Excel you don't look at too often. It's actually telling me where my cursor's located. Here I'm in A1, here I'm in A2. The formula bar tells me the text or anything that's within that cell. So if I want to name the range, for instance, I want all of this area right here where I'm just selecting. I'm selecting just the names. Notice I'm selecting the title, the first name, and the last name. And it's always showing me where the first row and the first column is in the name box. As Soon as I have that selection, I just click right in the name box, and then I can name it anything I'd like. One thing about naming, though, don't put any spaces in there. If you don't, do want the appearance of a space, put an underscore. So here, I'm just going to call it names. You can make it upper or lower case. I'm just going to press enter when I'm done. And as soon as I click outside, now I'll see the location where I am. If I want to go to that named range, I can click on the little drop down arrow here, and here's names, and it'll select it for me. And again, if I want to select just the addresses, the city, state, zip, and the actual physical address, I select right here, click, and just type the name in. Press enter. And now I have two in here. And I can navigate between the named ranges as I see fit. So that's how to name ranges in Microsoft Excel. This is Crystal. I'll see you soon.